Hello, I'm Perry Stone. I want to welcome you to the Perry Stone YouTube channel. I want to share with you a, an experience I had, um, actually it was several years ago, that I have never forgotten about and have occasionally, maybe at the most three times, shared the details of it publicly. Um, I experienced a, a night vision many years ago and without going into extreme detail of taking up a lot of time, because there's one part that I want to focus on, uh, it dealt with nuclear towers. Um, and when I say nuclear towers, just like a nuclear power plant, and there were two of them not far from water, they started spinning, creating a crisis. And I actually saw the stock market completely crash here in the United States. Maybe it was also the stock market around the world, but it specifically, I knew it impacted the United States in a very negative manner. Well, um, when discussion was made about the area of the nation of Iran uh, developing a nuclear weapon and gaining access to nuclear weapons, uh, there was a lot of talk about a, an attack that would eventually have to take place on Iran in order to stop the nuclear program. And this has been discussed now for many, many, many years. And there's a reason why it is not done, and it has to do with oil, how the price of oil would go to maybe $200 a barrel or more. And of course, that would definitely affect the stock market because oil, or should I say petroleum, is in so many products, thousands of products that we produce, including plastic. So it would cause an economic, uh, just complete chaos, utter chaos. But let me go back to this one part because it is yet to be seen uh, of how this will happen, when it would happen, but I believe it can happen. And this is the first time I can truly say that I think it's possible that it could actually happen, actually take place. Um, I was over top of a nation in the atmosphere, and this was a vision that I had. Uh, I did not put this in my Dreams and Visions book or the vision book. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I had forgotten about this. Uh, it was just a very quick thing. I had talked about it to a few people probably about eight years ago, seven years ago, but nothing had happened. So it was on the back burner, but now it seems like a bigger possibility. But I was over the country of Iran. Uh, I was right off the edge of a coast, and I saw the big containers that hold their oil. And if you've ever gone to a refinery, and you see those big, big storage round, storage units that hold just, I don't know, millions, billions, who knows how many uh, gallons of fuel. I saw many of those lined up just like you would be uh, if you were at a refinery like Houston. If you know that Houston, Texas is a refinery, Baton Rouge has refineries. It looked like that. But I knew it was Iran. And all of a sudden, I heard a crackling sound in the atmosphere. And when I did... A, an explosion went off, not on the ground, but it went off in the atmosphere and it began to produce what looked like lightning, but it was a real bluish color lightning, just bluish color lightning. And it, it went all over top of these, uh, what were oil storage containers. And I knew what it was. I knew that Israel or the United States, but in the dream, it felt like it was Israel had unleashed an EMP, an electromagnetic pulse over the country of Iran in this region. That wasn't the whole nation. It wasn't, you know, border to border, but it was right in the heart of their port area and right in the heart of their oil area. And um, I knew what it was. It was an electromagnetic pulse, which would knock off and knock out the electricity all in that region. And the thought came to me as I'm looking down on this on the atmosphere, the thought came to me that this would be the way that they would knock out the electricity to where they would be limited in the use of their computers, their computer systems, and their missile systems. Now, the reason I'm sharing that with you is when I saw how the Israelis cut off the electricity to Gaza, northern Gaza, most people did not know why they did that, and they called it a humanitarian crisis. The reason is that Hamas was staying in touch with their underground cells through uh, phones and, and, and uh, satellite phones and computers. Eventually, when there is no electricity, you cannot recharge your phone or your laptops. 
And a while back when they surrounded one of the ringleaders of October 7th, I'm speaking of the Israeli Defense Force surrounding the building where this man was, he had no access to contact any of his people to know the Israelis were there or to, unless, unless someone had gotten in a bunker and told him they were there, which I'm sure they did. But uh, he had no communications ability. So I think it's possible. Now, only time is going to tell, but this has stuck with me over the years. And as I said, when I wrote the book on the visions, I totally forgot about it. And I won't say forgot, it just didn't come to mind. Maybe it was not supposed to be put in the book at the time, I don't know. But I think it's possible that just as Israel cut off the electricity to northern Gaza so the terrorists could not communicate, that it's possible that Iran, being a much bigger area and a much bigger country, would have an uh, electromagnetic pulse detonated. So I, when, I, when I describe this to someone who worked in the military, uh, they said, that sounds like what you saw. And they sent me this. Now, this is just drawings. These, these were not classified. This was not secret information. These were drawings someone made of what it would look like, it would, full color, uh, if an electromagnetic pulse was detonated. And I promise you, it looked just like what I saw in that vision. Now, you do understand, um, if you're a spiritually minded, biblically biblically literate person, that the Bible says that visions and dreams would accompany the last day outpouring of the Holy Spirit. It says, old men will dream dreams, young men will see visions. Well, obviously I'm having a whole lot more dreams than I have visions. But in the earlier days, God would give me some very special, unique visions. And I believe this is one of them that in time, we will see come to pass. So what would happen is, by knocking out the electrical power in a limited region, especially where the military and underground areas are, uh, it could very possibly disrupt communications of how to communicate with their cells and their groups like uh, Hezbollah in the other countries, uh, and it would, it would be a major disruption. So let's see if time tells that this happens that way. It may happen at the War of Gog and Magog, I don't know, but it also may happen um, in, in, in months ahead, and if it does, you have a documentation here that through the Holy Spirit, he shows you things to come and he showed us that happening before it ever took place. So this is why it's important to stay filled with God's Spirit the way Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were, the way Joshua was, the way Moses was, the way the disciples were, because he will uh, warn you of coming danger, warn you of trouble, show you things to come, and help build up your spirit and keep you in the faith. And we really need to stay strong in the faith, especially in these day and time. So thank you for your time and may God bless you. We want you to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up and keep watching because we always have an offer that we make available to you at the end. Experience a personal spiritual breakthrough, fresh knowledge and a new understanding. Tap into God's wisdom while in your home, office, or driving by listening to the eight new messages from the 2023 International Main Event. Perry Stone's five new messages include three major prophetic updates that answer questions that many are asking. The titles are A Stern Warning to All Rapture Scoffers, Correcting Errors Being Taught Concerning the Great Tribulation, The Prophetic Missing Link of the Sign of Christ's Return, Included are two of Perry's most important warfare messages of 2023, shutting the door on Satan's ability to get into your life, the mystery that Satan tries to keep you from discovering. Along with Perry's five messages, when you order, you will hear Ron Carpenter unlock an amazing biblical mystery that will change your prayer life in his message. It's an inside job. Jensen Franklin shifted the atmosphere by exposing America's anemic Western Christianity in his message, I am not a professional Christian. John Kilpatrick received a visitation from the Lord, then presented an anointed spiritual manifesto entitled, First the Attack, Then the Blessing. These eight messages will help set an unshakable path for your spiritual walk and your expectations of a victorious outcome and prepare you prophetically for the future. You too can experience what thousands of others did when you order. The main event conference is available on audio CD, DVD, and audio USB drive. Also for your convenience, the conference is available as video on demand at perrystone.tv. The eight audio CDs are offer number 23ME-CD and are available for a donation of $55.
The eight DVDs are offer number 23ME-DVD and are available for a donation of $95. The eight messages on a USB drive are available for a donation of only $55. Request offer number 23ME-USB. Order today by calling 1-888-21-BREAD. That's 1-888-212-7323 or order online at perrystone.org. You may also mail a check to Perry Stone, P.O. Box 3595, Cleveland, Tennessee 37320. Order these messages today and uplift your spiritual life and help manifest with Perry Stone continue to reach the world. If you enjoyed this YouTube content, there's an important website you should know about, perrystone.org. Perrystone.org is an essential resource for the latest books, audiovisual presentations, and digital products from Perry Stone Ministries, resources that cover the same kinds of topics discussed in the program you just watched. Stop in and see all that's available at perrystone.org.